All right, so I'm going to create a custom size because that design looked like a square. So I'm just going to do 1200 by 1200 pixels. And I'm going to add onto my workspace a grid instead because um, I'm wanting to have three images <clears throat> side by side. So I'm going to add a frame here. And it looked like these were kind of expanded on the side. I like that. And it looked like this one had um, a border like that. And now we're going to search for a curve border. And so here we have some graphics. And um, we could try something like that um, or this one. This one is uh, free. Um, now it is long on one side and short on the other, but um, we can fix that. So we can do that and we can continue along or we can make a duplicate and we can flip it, try and center it in the middle. And now I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Now uh, we'll notice with the other design, it did kind of have like a white border. So what we'll do is we'll make um, a copy of that. So control C, control V, and we're going to move that up a smidge because we want to see that white border. And we're going to shade that And um, we're going to shade that white. Now, we'll notice that um, changing the color isn't an option on this element. So what we can do um, is we can edit the photo and we can go to dual tone to try and change that color to white uh, if we want it to or change it to any other color. Um, so that's how we would change the color. Now I'm just going to change the other one because you remember they're grouped together. So let me ungroup that. And again, I'm going to go to dual tone. I'm going to make it white. Or you can leave it that color too to add, to add a little bit of contrast if you want it to. Okay, so now I am going to go back to position and I'm just going to group those back together again. And I'm going to move that in behind the yellow. Okay, and so there is the border. And now I'm going to make this a little bit larger like that and just move that down. Um, okay. All right. So there we have the um, bottom curve of the photo. Now we can, um, what we can do for the top is we can add a circle. Um, and we can just make that a little bit larger and we can bring that down and that will be the curve for the top. And you can make this any color that you like. So um, if we, maybe we can make it gray. Um, and then we can also shade the background to match the gray. Oh, it's that one. Okay. 
this is how we create a curved effect. Now, um, we'll notice that there is a little bit of shading um, in on the other original design. And if you want to create that shading, what you can do is perhaps search for um, round shade. And maybe we can use that and we can make that larger like that. And then we can maybe move that down a little bit and move it underneath like that. Um, now let's go back because what we'll want to do is we'll want to just diffuse that harsh line so we can keep it like that and uh, just to avoid any images going into the frames um, what you can do is you can just hold them by the edge Okay, so there is the shading effect. And now what we can do is we can um, add a heading over here. And now what you can do is you can come and um, upload your custom photos and put them in here. Um, I'm just gonna use um, regular photos Of cities and I'm gonna put them in here so that you can see what that looks like when we're done now let's take a look now uh, I'm back with design because I made a, f a few changes here, but um, I wanted to mention also that um, if you wanted to, you could also use um, the circle here. You can make a copy of that and you could have the, um, the design go out at the bottom and or just expand it like that um, and make it larger to fit your design. And so you could then go uh, curve out at the top and curve out at the bottom. So that is another way you can make photos uh, appear that they are curved when they're not. You have to remember that um, to the person who's looking at the photo, they're seeing the end result, um, what the eye sees. Um, from behind the design perspective, we're using all kinds of tricks to manipulate what you're seeing. Um, so try and think outside of the box when you're designing uh, items. So again, I just wanna say that I'm going to have this template available on my Buy Me A Coffee website. If you wanna download, please visit the, the website and um, you'll be able to use the template. That is pretty much it. If you learned anything through this tutorial, please don't forget to press the like button and please do leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you're new to my channel, please join my Facebook community. The link to my Facebook community will be in the description. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.